Hey, what's up guys? It's Adam Siren, and I am happy to be back doing another Loopy Pro video. Thank you guys for all of your likes and all of your subscriptions. I certainly appreciate it. If you do like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. We're gonna get right to it. I'm gonna show you how to load up this simple four track looper preset and start programming. All right, let's go. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this icon for Loopy Pro. When you get into Loopy Pro, the first thing you're gonna do is go to this little folder in the top right hand corner. You're going to go to projects. All right, you're going to go to the sample projects folder and we are going to load up simple four track looper. Now that you're loaded up, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go up here, click on this, hit control settings, all right, I'm using a RetroLoop Pro uh, MIDI controller. So I'm showing that here in MIDI devices. If your MIDI controller is connected properly, you will see it right there. Now, I'm gonna show you really fast how to set all of this up, okay? First thing you do, you click this edit button. Then you click the MIDI learn button. Then you go up here to the top left hand corner. We're gonna create a uh, we're gonna create a new profile. All right, I'm using uh, we're gonna record we're gonna put this under project profiles. Okay, global profiles means you can use it with everything. Uh, project profile means that it's locked to this project. Um, so we're gonna do that. Um, I usually name this to whatever controller I'm gonna use. So I'm using a Retro Loop Pro. I'm just gonna go ahead and type this in. There we go, P, R, O. Okay, save. All right, so now I'm gonna select this. There we go, cancel that. All right, now, you see up here, at top left hand corner, I'm selected for Retro Loop Pro. Okay, now you can see me again. All right, so I'm gonna grab my RetroLoop Pro so you can kind of see what I'm doing here, okay? Uh, now, this isn't how I would normally do this, but I want you guys to have a visual, okay? So um, I like to loop in a square, so I've got one, two, th one, two, three, and four right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a track you can see it's listening for events. I'm going to push a button on my MIDI controller. There you go. I'm gonna do the same thing for track number two. I'm gonna do the same thing for track number three. I'm gonna do the same thing for track number four. All right. Now, for my overdub button, okay, right? I'm gonna click here on this widget, and then I'm going to select that, all right? For my play all, stop all, that's always gonna be my green button, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing right there. All right, now, for my undo button, I'm gonna use this same button. I'm gonna double tap, all right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here and I am going to, let's see, normally it will let me do that. Hang on, let's see. I'm gonna hit double tap right here. I'm gonna click defer other actions. Okay, there we go. I will show you why that's cool here in a minute. All right, now for my clear button, I'm gonna select that, and then I'm gonna push this big white button, which is always my clear, but I'm gonna hold it. There we go. I'm gonna hold it. All right, and there you go. Now my uh, controller is mapped. Okay, I'm gonna hit close. And then, now you can see, when I hit these buttons, all right, it all works. It all tests out good. I'm gonna clear everything out, hold that down. All right, now when I hit this, I've got it set. If you push this overdub button right here, okay, the next track that you click is gonna go into overdub mode. So let me show you how that looks. I'm gonna click this, then I'm gonna click track one. Now I'm overdubbing, see? All right, now I'm gonna stop that, and then I'm gonna cancel that out. Okay, now, 
here is how you add extra commands, okay? So we're gonna come up here. We're gonna hit control settings. We're gonna select our profile, RetroLoop Pro. We're gonna select add new binding. What I wanna do is I wanna add, hang on, let's see. So I can show you this. What I wanna do is I wanna add clear functions to these track buttons, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna hit add new binding. Um, I think it's easy to search. You just type in the word clear. Okay, here we go, clear clip. All right, I'm gonna click my target, specific clips, we're gonna clip one. All right, I'm gonna say uh, done. All right, and then I'm gonna hit save. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push hold. There we go. Now when I hold that button down, it's going to clear that track. I'm gonna do the same thing for my other tracks. All right. Clip. All right, target, specific clips. Number two, I'm hit done. Save. Hold that down. All right, now you might be asking, why am I not doing defer other actions on this? And that is because these are my track loop buttons, okay? Anything that's time sensitive, I don't recommend uh, doing the deferred action because it will mess with your timing a little bit. I mean, that's a personal preference, okay? But as you can see, it's pretty easy. I'm hitting clear, all right, clear clip, do the same thing. Uh, we're gonna hit target, specific clips, and we're on uh, track three. And hit save. Gonna hold this down. There we go. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. All right, target specific clips number four. All right, we're rinsing and repeating here. Same thing. All right, and then we're going to hit save. All right. Now, I'm also going to add uh, my undo function. All right, so I have an undo function on my front screen. So that is a widget. I'm gonna hit trigger widget. I'm gonna hit target. Then I'm gonna hit undo right here. Okay, so um, let's see. So my action is gonna be pressed. I'm gonna hit save. Now right here, I wanna, um, I wanna double tap to undo uh, on my dub button. So I'm gonna just double tap, all right? Then I'm gonna hit defer other actions, okay? Because it's not really time sensitive, all right? Um, let's see, what's going on here? I have a conflict. Um, yeah, okay, I'll fix that in a second. Let me see what that is. Let's go, let's see where my double tap G2 is. Oh. I've already got it on there. Oh dang. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oops. My bad, guys. I forgot I did that. All right. Now another thing I like to do is add. Play. Remember our white. My white button here is clear all, clear everything. But one of the things I like to do is go up here and target and hit specific clips two, three, four. Okay. So that way I can keep my beat on track one, but clear these three out uh, to go to the next song of my mashup. I'm gonna hit save and I'm just gonna tap this one time. There we go, and then I'm gonna hit save. All right, now I am done. So that is it, it automatically saves uh, after you do all that. Make sure you save uh, after you hit each thing. And that is how you set it up. So watch, check this out. I'm gonna do my first loop and then there we go, recording. All right, um, I can add to it. Okay, stops that one, starts the next one. All right, there we go, I'm done. I can go back in uh, and overdub if I want to. There we go, we're gonna stop that. Remember, this is, uh, there we go, just like that. Now I can push this down, remember, we're gonna clear out two and three, or if I hold this down, it's gonna clear them all. If I double tap this, it's undo. All right, I like to use session undo because if you accidentally clear out your track,
then you can just double tap or hit undo or whatever and it comes right back okay and so that is how you do that now once you set up your controller you do this you hit save and then there you have it so anyway i hope this video has been helpful to you if you like this video make sure you hit like and subscribe and put your questions and comments uh in the comments and i will answer them as best i can and if you have a request for a video that you would like to see i am a pedal looper um this is designed so you don't have to touch the screen and if you do have to touch the screen everything is really big and easy um so that you can do that and we will cover some of that in another video so to be continued y'all be blessed remember jesus is king and i will see you next time